Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm showing you a Barbie inspired makeup tutorial. So I'm starting off with brows and lightly filling them in. I wasn't too fussed about them as much as my wig would cover that area anyway. But if you don't have a fringe, don't forget to conceal the perimeters of your brows to give it that sharp defined look. To prep my lids, I'm applying an eyeshadow base and setting it down with powder to make the eyeshadows more blendable. I'm using this white shadow on my tear duct to open up and brighten my eyes. Then taking an eyeliner brush, I'm carving out a little above my crease line to give the illusion of bigger doll-like eyes. Don't worry if it gets messy as you can clean that up later. And to stamp that line down, I'm going over it with a dark purple, bringing it down toward my tear duct and all the way toward the end of that crease line. Next, taking this bright pink shade, I'm applying it above the purple crease but concentrating mostly on the outer portion. And to diffuse that pink a little, I'm lightly smoking it toward my brows with a fluffy blending brush. Then I'm grabbing this frosty champagne colour and applying it under my brows to emphasise my brow bone. Next I'm applying this brown eyeliner just under my lower lash line. And then mixing these two browns to set that liner in place. For my top lash line, I'm widening my eyes a little by extending the line past my tear duct and drawing my wing toward the tail of my crease. Then going back to that champagne shade, I'm applying it onto my mobile lid. Here you can see I've gone over the mess I made earlier in that crease step. Next, I'm applying a cream colour onto my waterline to further brighten and open my eyes. And then applying these dramatic doll-like lashes. And for the last step on the eyes, I drew on some bottom lashes with an eyeliner brush. You could even cut regular lashes in half and stick them onto the outer corners of your eye as an alternative. Now for face, I used all full coverage matte products as I wanted the face to look as porcelain and doll like as possible. Here I'm buffing my studio fix all over the face. Next I used an orange corrector to take care of any dark regions which for me were under the eyes and on the corners of my mouth and then went over those areas again with foundation. To highlight, I stippled my concealer under my eyes, on my chin and on the centre of my forehead. And then took my Studio Sculpt Powder to set those areas down. It may feel dramatic but to get that fake Barbie look you have to go heavy on the face. The next step is to bake your highlight zones. You could totally stop at the concealer but I'll go that one step further so you can see the difference it makes. If you've seen my baking technique tutorial, you would have remembered me saying that I hadn't come across a yellow base powder that didn't leave an awful yellow tinge on the skin. Well I finally found one, it's the Napoleon Mattifying Primer and it sets and blends beautifully on the skin. I mix up between this one and my regular Laura Mercier. Now allow the product to sit for around 10 minutes before lightly brushing off the excess powder. Next I contoured under my cheekbones, along my jawline and on the perimeters of my forehead. 
For the nose, to create the illusion of a slimmer Barbie-like nose, draw the contour lines closer than the natural bridge of your nose. I then buffed out the cream product with a stippling brush, making sure to stamp it well into the skin. Also, in case you guys are wondering, I'm not naked, I am wearing a boob tube top. I used a smaller brush for my nose contour. And then set the cream product with powder and blended it well into the foundation and the concealed zones. For cheeks, I applied this rosy pink shade and blended it onto the apples. Finally for lips, as my lipstick is quite sheer, I outlined and filled my lips with a lip base so that the lipstick has something to grab onto without rubbing off easily. Also make sure to define your cupid's bow. Then apply your lipstick on top and you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next Halloween video. Bye!